Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. So today I have a little bit of an update video for you guys and some of you may think that this video is a little bit weird to do and to kind of put out there so openly but I think that doing videos about contraception and the contraceptive journey that people are on and just talking about it and being open about it is a real positive thing and at the end of the day I don't see why we should have to feel so ashamed about talking about sex, about contraception, about all that sort of stuff. Because at the end of the day, it's a part of our lives. Sex, contraception, all that sort of stuff. So why should we feel ashamed to talk about it? We shouldn't do. So as some of you may know, I had the contraceptive implant put in in 2018 um i think it was like september time of 2018 if you want to be precise and then i actually had it in for about a year and had it taken out the following year in 2019 before i had the contraceptive implant put in in 2018 um i mainly had used the pill and I was on the pill for years and I never had any, any issues whatsoever using the pill. And then in 2020, I fell pregnant with this little munchkin right here. Um, and since having my little girl, Ellie, life has changed. You have a child and your life completely changes. And then after I got the implant taken out in 2019, I went back on the pill, um... And then obviously I've had Ellie and I just feel like because my life has changed so much, things are so much more hectic because of having this little one that I kind of have been thinking for quite a while that the pill just isn't really uh, suitable for my kind of lifestyle anymore, I suppose. And I didn't want to get to the point with the pill where I was forgetting to take it. You have to choose the contraception type that is suitable for you and the pill was suitable for me for years and years and years after having ellie it's just i feel like it's just not appropriate for my kind of lifestyle anymore i just thought last month actually that maybe it was time to change from being on the contraceptive pill to being um I say being on the implant, that sounds totally wrong, doesn't it? Get the implant fitted. That's more the appropriate word I was looking for. So that's what I did. I rang up the clinic that uh, puts in the contraceptive implants and that's exactly what I had done. I had it done a couple of days ago at this point. What's great about the implant is that you don't have to think or worry about contraception for like you know, three years. The implant lasts for three years. I mean, you can have it taken out early if you want to, or if it's not working for you. But um, yeah, they can last for three years. So that is a reasonable length of time to just not have to worry about taking a pill at a certain time every day. Because to be quite honest, the contraceptive pills that I have been on for years and years now, um, there is like a three hour kind of window for you to take your tablet every day and if you go over that three hour window that's it you're not protected so yeah um pills are great they've worked for so many people and they worked for me but it's just not for my lifestyle anymore we'll see how the implant goes um uh, hopefully things will be okay and I'm curious about what my periods are going to do as well, actually, because quite often with the implant, your periods will either stop completely or you'll get irregular periods. Um, and that's one of the kind of issues that I had with it last time, which is why I had the implant removed. It was just the fact that my periods became so irregular. But we'll see what happens with my periods this time around, see if they stop or see if they just become very irregular again. Um, but yeah, I feel like at the moment I've made the right decision for me, for my family, for my lifestyle, and we'll see what happens. So take two of the implant, I suppose you could call it. Have you had the implant 
let me know how you were with it. Have you still got it? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Did you have it removed? Let me know in the comments section down below. And I'd also be really curious to know actually how your contraceptive kind of journey has changed since having a child. Thank you so much for watching this quick little update video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in future videos. See you later, guys.